I look like the Reverend Sun Moon. Drink the Kool-Aid, children. What the hell is that flashing symbol? I have no idea what that means. Anyhow, tomorrow is the annual Plank Steak Dinner at Jasper Ranch, which the host, Douglas Preston, is holding. Of course, steak is not being served at the annual Plank Steak Dinner. Hasn't been served for years, let alone on a wooden plank, but it is still the Plank Steak Dinner. Doug sent a uh, list of what is being served for that dinner. Featuring Guadalupe's Cabrito, Cabrito, which is, of course, roasted goat. Also, quote, roasting ears, end of quote. Roasting ears. Knowing Doug Preston, this could be human ears for all we know. But I am guessing he means roasted ears of corn. Doug, am I right? Or is it really human ears you're serving? I don't know. Green onions and other treats. And of course it is bring your own booze. And it's going to be quite warm. So I'm going to bring, um, I'm going to wear long sleeve uh, billowy shirt. Keep the sun off my skin and maybe I'll bring a video camera and just record the event again. Doug was here at the ranch a couple months, a uh, couple, three days ago I guess. Um, we were looking for more human skulls because um, what is a plank steak dinner without a human skull as the table centerpiece? <sighs> um, Many months ago, I guess it was in the spring, a couple hikers came through the area and they were walking along the uh, boundary line between private ranch property and public property, which they own, and they came across two human skulls. And not being terribly bright, they thought, hey, maybe these people were mur murdered recently. Uh, so of course they rushed back to where they were staying at the monastery, which is several miles um, east of here. And they called the county and the county sent county sheriff out and the county sheriff put up police scene, police crime scene tape all over the forest hanging pieces of bright yellow tape Police line, do not cross, hanging from many branches in the Pinyon Pine Forest, which is just fucking hilarious. And they treated the area as if it was a recent crime scene. Even though, very likely, the crime of murder, most foul, was committed 800 years ago. Dudes, I think the perpetrators have got away with it. Just putting that out there. 800 years ago these people were slaughtered by the hundreds, presumably by the Towa or the Tiwa. Uh, the Gaina people were just wiped out over the span of perhaps a couple of weeks. Anyhow, the county sheriff, instead of calling the forensic, forensic anthropologist to study the, the human remains in situ, instead of not disturbing them, instead of not just burying them and leaving them the fuck alone, which federal law, the Antiquities Act, mandates the county sheriff, deputy sheriff, just dug up the skulls, dug up all the related bones, sacked them up, and took them away. Thank you guys for being assholes. When we, that is people in New Mexico who are not fucking morons, find human remains, 
we rebury them. We ignore them. This is the culturally, ethically, and morally right thing to do. But if you're a deputy sheriff for Ariba, Rio Ariba County, you take the human skulls and you put them on your desk for something to talk about, I guess. Anyhow, plank steak dinner tomorrow. And I am not going to eat any of that cabrito, but I'm sure as hell going to sample some of those roasted ears, especially if they're human ears.